What's up, guys? Um, Brian here for another sugar-free scope exercise session. And today I'm going to talk about uh, two more types of moves you can add to your routine, um, both of which are upper body pressing. So the first is chest pressing, and the second one will be overhead pressing. Um, again, there's going to be a class here, so I don't know um, what the sound will be like, but let's see how we go. So first of all, um, I just want to touch on chest pressing. Um, it's really, really important, just like the squats, to, to work the upper body. Um, well, squats is lower body, but it's important just like the squats. Um, and the particular one, yeah, is it's obviously quite popular with guys. You know, they think they're going to build like arms or the chest or whatever. Um, but for the girls, it's equally important. Um, weight training will not make you bulky. Um, most women don't have enough testosterone to become bulky like men. But um, yeah, it's important for anyone's routine. So the chest press, uh, let me just adjust here. Um, so the chest press, we, we have a couple of options. Um, obviously a great way to start is the push-ups. Um, but if you're not there, there's some, some um, sort of regressions you can do, which I'll try to get to. And then as you get stronger, you can progress to uh, things like bench presses or dumbbell presses, that sort of thing. Um, cool. So I'm going to show you the push-up quickly. Um, <laughs> people are arriving here. So um, again, just before I start, you guys can check out bighealthyme.com forward slash exercise video library and you'll see all the exercises over there. Cool, so I'm going to show you some push-ups quickly and uh, let me just adjust here. Cool, so you want to keep your body in a nice straight line. Um, you don't want your, your hips dropping or raising in the air. I'll show you those now. Um, and then I'll also show you if you're not strong enough to do that yet, um, a regression. So first I'll show you hips dropping down, then uh, hips raising in the air, and then if you're not strong enough, I'll show you a regression. Cool, so I hope that was useful. Um, then, as I said, if you do get stronger, you can move on to the bench press. Um, you can also do this with dumbbells, um, which I won't show now, but um, this is pretty much the chest press. Cool, so just some pointers there. Um, you want to keep your arms at about uh, one and a half times your shoulder width. Hi, Chloe. Uh, you want to keep your arms at about shoulder, one and a half times shoulder width. Um, lower the bar, keep your shoulders pulled together. Lower the bar to the nipple line. Important that you go all the way to your chest and then press overhead again. Uh, cool, so then the next type of pressing is overhead pressing and um, I'm going to show you guys with dumbbells but you can do this with uh, kettlebells, you can do it with a barbell, you can do it standing or sitting. Um, if you're just starting out I would suggest um, sitting and you can use anything from um, you know small 
uh, those small dumbbells, but you definitely want to be getting stronger, as I spoke about in an earlier video on progression. So um, you can start, yeah, start sitting. Standing will use more core musculature, which is great, um, but if you can't, then, what's up, Karen? Uh, if you can't, then definitely sitting is fine. So I'm going to show you that now with dumbbells, um, and you guys can shoot any questions if you have. So yeah, um, just some pointers there as well. You don't want to just be dropping the weight on the way down under gravity. You actually want to be controlling it on the way down. Um, so you can feel all under here in the lat. Um, you really want to be controlling that weight. Um, and then yeah, keeping the back nice and straight, the core nice and tight, um, so that you're not bending your back to reach the weight overhead. So guys, that's about it for, for today's session. The uh, pressing, so we spoke about chest pressing and overhead pressing. Give them a try. Check out the exercise library at bighealthyme.com forward slash exercise video library. You can see some different presses there with me performing them for you to watch in your own time. So until next time, uh, keep moving and I'll see you later.